Welcome to the garden shop. In this video I want to show you how to grow uh, one of our range of herb seeds that we have and it's the rosemary seeds or Rosemarinus officinalis which is just the common uh, rosemary. So the packaging here is this uh, brown greaseproof bag and then within is a waterproof uh, ziplock bag which contains the seeds inside. So we'll just show you the labelling on the packaging gives you uh, two options that allows you to uh, read up on the sowing instructions for rosemary and it has at the bottom you can see a, a link for the website itself and up at the top here it has a, a scannable barcode which allows you to log on to our website and view all your sowing instructions and aftercare for rosemary. Uh, you can use this through your iPhone or smartphone. So uh, we'll just show you now how to sow rosemary. And obviously rosemary has very, it's a very versatile plant in that it has many uses, not only in the garden, but also in the kitchen. Uh, you know, you can use it with different meats and um, with uh, roast potatoes and the likes. Also, it's very popular in the, uh, in the garden because it has uh, great fragrance in the foliage and it flowers quite well in early summer. So uh, it's a very attractive and useful plant in the garden. So what I want to show you now is how to sow the seed. And again, the best time for sowing rosemary is in early summer, or sorry, early spring. Uh, and to sow them into, um, we have here is nine centimeter pots such as this. Now what you will find with rosemary, similar to uh, lavender, is that it requires and must have good drainage. Not only when, I'm talk not only when we're talking about the uh, sowing of the seed stage, but also when you're out in the garden and you plant them out in, in its final position, it must have good drainage. Other than that, the seed and the plant itself is quite hardy. Uh, so we have it here, this is our uh, nine centimeter pot. I've filled it with a general compost, which you can see in here. Uh, general compost has been mixed through with a gritty horticultural sand. Uh, so what we have here is one part, um, general compost and one part is gritty sand and again the point of the gritty sand is to add drainage to the soil. Uh, okay so we're just going to top up our seeds, uh, our pots, always best to fill it to the top. Don't press the soil down, just tap it on the ground like that and you will get a nice level surface. Um, so that's it ready to go there. Uh, now what we're just going to do, uh, I've a, a pot this size we could probably sow about five seeds because the germination rate isn't exactly 100% we could lose two of them out of the five so we'll just sow uh, five into the center of this pot when you're taking seeds out of a, a packet it's best to pour the seeds into your hand rather than sticking your hand into the seeds just to keep them from getting wet so we're just going to position them in a circle around the center of the pot, there's three, four, and five. I'll just return the last few to the packet. Okay, so that's the seed sown. And uh, what we will do is obviously we're gonna, in fact, in this case, we don't cover it, we just give it a quick watering. And afterwards, then we want to position it into a nice sunny location where it's gonna stay warm both day and night until it's ready for transplanting into the garden after the frosts have passed really. We're talking in about eight weeks time this, um, these rosemary should be ready for transplanting out into the garden. Uh, before that though we'll notice that in about two weeks time the seeds will start to emerge and if you have success with all five seedlings uh, you'll probably want to tin out maybe to two and then finally down to one seedling and choose the finest seedling then as the plant that you will then um, plant into your garden. So it needs a very good soaking as I say always and uh, the first time you sow compost it needs to be watered quite well because the compost would have been very very dry and can soak up a lot of water. Okay. Uh, so that's the rosemary again if you're planting it out the key to rosemary is that it's positioned in a, a sunny location like lavender and also it requires a very good drain soil and if you haven't got a very well drained soil um, positions like a raised bed would be ideal and even doing that uh, it's always recommended to add a small amount of 
uh, hard cut your grit or, or sand to the base of your planting hole prior to uh, sowing the plants. Lastly then, and whenever you sow a seed, it's always for your own benefit, a good idea just to take a plant label, write down the name of the plants, which in this case was rosemary, uh, officinalis, and then the date that you sowed it, okay, it goes in next. And then you can just place that into your pot. And then, you know, you can keep an eye on it and record how quick it took to grow and, um, you know, just to give yourself a better understanding of the seeds. So that's it, I think. Uh, that's it for now, anyway. Again, in eight weeks' time, we're going to transplant this on into the garden. Uh, again, the key is just to wait until the weather is milder. So you're talking, you know, early um, April time or middle of April should be the earliest that you do decide to transplant something like this out. So that's it. That's the rosemary. And again, all these products are available on the garden shop that I